creatures are not one, but two descendants of one creature. In this video, we will be talking about one of the two descendants and the other descendant in another episode. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The Aquasaurus Aquaticus is one of the two descendants of Spinosaurus and is not the biggest of the two species. Aquaticus is depicted to look more like the scientifically accurate Spinosaurus with a paddle-like tail and a rectangular sail, which was used for attracting mates or regulating body temperature. Unlike its ancestor who is semi-aquatic, the Aquasaurus is completely aquatic and rarely comes onto land and only do so to lay its eggs, just like a sea turtle. It spends most of its time in the rivers, swamps, lakes, and even oceans. Its skin can change into any color, just like a chameleon. That way, when the predator goes into the water, it can change its skin color to look just like the surrounding water, even on land. Just like its ancestor, the Aquasaurus aquaticus has four legs. The front legs actually act like its arms. The Aquasaurus aquaticus can crawl like a lizard and stand on two feet, just like a human. Their claws are replaced with webbed hands and feet, which makes it easier to catch fish. When the creature grabs a fish, its hands are very sticky, which helps it to hold on to its slippery prey, but its hands cannot be used to climb walls. The Aquatosaurus aquaticus is slightly larger than the Gojira rex, but with some downsides. It had weak jaws, was less suited for combat, and it wasn't very fast, even when chasing prey on land. It was more of an ambush predator. But this aquatic predator is only a sneak peek of what else lurks in the waters of prehistoric island.